Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Hey, how's it going in your neck of the woods today? All right, this is an exciting subject and it's like we have to give ourselves a cheer and a high five. Right. So when you guys are popping in, um, I was thinking about this, it's like, cause right now it is the six months. It is six months since you decided that you're gonna hit the ground running January 1st a little bit ago, okay? And why should we be cheering and celebrating other people? And why should we be extra excited about today? On top of this, the summer solstice and all that kind of fun stuff. But why should we be cheering and excited and celebrating other women within business? Within uh, my business, within social retail and my team and my sister's teams and my compatriot side sister's teams or your own beloved business, I believe as you guys know that there is enough sunshine out there and success for everybody. And this is what I love to do. I love to show up, uh, stir up the pot a little bit, shake it up and create some great uh, ideas, some uh, different aspects of thought so you guys can have better results and more success within your beloved businesses, whether you're in my business within social retail or your own, I know that there is something good out there awaiting for us every day and definitely in our tomorrows too. So let's hop into this because I remember from a little bitty girl, my riding instructor within my 4-H club, she would say that a rising uh, a rising tide lifts all ships. So knowing that's going, what's going on within our industry and knowing what goes on within social media and like knowing what's going on within our world, we know that the world needs more sunshine. We know that the world needs more love. You know, we need those encouragers and those cheerleaders and those women that are willing to lock arm in arm with you um, and be there through the good days and the bad days and the tough days um, and the nurturing and the, the cheering that goes on with it. Okay, so let's hop into a few specific points why I cheer, okay? And, you know, every woman has a different leadership style and what draws you to me um, as, as a woman that you follow or that you watch or that you're, you're uh, taking care of, um, your own leadership style is definitely going to be different um, you know, in some aspects than mine. That's what I love about this industry, that we can all be our own woman, uh, building our own presence online and being able to connect with women, all right? So your leadership style is going to be different than mine, you know, or maybe even some, some parallelities where we overlap. But these are the reasons why I choose to cheer. Um, because I have a, a very passive nature. I'm very easygoing. I, you know, don't like a lot of conflict. I don't like negativity. I don't like drama. It sucks my energy. It makes me grumpy. It gives me headaches. It makes my fall hair fall out. All those kind of things when it comes to stress. So why should we be cheering and celebrating other women? Okay, so the very first thing is knowing if we think about our industry, our industry has had some hard knocks, okay? Our industry in a whole has had, you know, some past unprofessionalism. So if we can celebrate and cheer and show ourselves and our business as a professional network marketer, as a woman who loves direct sales, as a woman out there who is building her home-based business, however that may be for you, when we cheer other women on, when we cheer and support other women on, it puts our profession and our amazing industry in a very positive light, okay? Because it really, I believe, um, when you're cheering other women on and it gives that positive aspect to our industry, it also makes you stand out from the norm, okay? This one's a big one for me. Tip number two, you stand out from the norm online that is me, 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 me focused, okay? Um, if you guys have a couple friends that are me, 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 me focused, then you know what I'm talking about. So when you just celebrate everybody, no matter they're in your company or a different company, or they're all techie and online and numbers stuff people, and you're hands on, and you know you love to do the parties, or or you're like me and you just you don't want to do the parties. You want to work purely from online. You don't want to have to go to a vendor events. You don't want to have to go jump through the hoops and loops of packing up your kids or your car, or you know waving goodbye to your husband on the weekend. There's something out there for everybody. But when you cheer and celebrate everybody, no matter whether you had success in that business and you've been around the block like a few times like I have been, that you know that you know sometimes it's, it's not the, the conversation plan, it's not the company, it's just not the right fit or it's not aligned with you. So it's really important when you cheer everybody else on, 
it puts, um, it takes away from the me and you just realize that you're adding a beautiful light to our profession and goodness knows the world needs more love and more sunshine. Would you guys agree to that? Definitely. Okay. So tip number three, it adds hope to a friend. Right now, there is someone watching you. Okay. Right now, there's someone watching you build your business through the good days, through the tough days, through the bad days, through the hail and the rain and the snow and the sleet. You're adding hope to somebody. There's someone out there that might want what you have, even if it's 50 bucks a month or 500 bucks a month or $5,000 a month. Depends on what you want. But right now, when you're building your businesses online and you're cheering and celebrating everybody else out there, you are adding hope and goodness to a friend right now. Okay. Okay. Because we have to remember, it leads us tip number four is it shines a spotlight. Okay. And you know, it's okay. And we should be very comfortable to stand in our own spotlight and, you know, be able to be appreciative of the blessings that are coming our ways because of what we're doing in network marketing. But when you shine a spotlight upon other people, it doesn't diminish your own flame. What you're doing is you're just adding light and perspective and facets of this industry and profession to another, okay? It's never gonna diminish your own light by uh, putting the spotlight on someone else that needs some celebration, that needs some cheering, okay? So don't be afraid to cheer other people on. Um, get excited about it because it, like I said, it just, it really makes the whole woman glow and grow within themselves because it, it's adding hope. Um, and someone out there is looking for a hand up, okay? So it also, tip number five, is it diminishes and extinguishes uh, jealousy, envy, and comparitis, okay? It really pushes that down when you begin to cheer and celebrate other women. Understanding that, of course, that, that is one of the, the biggest struggles that women have is that we see other women having success and it, um, we will have to, when we're cheering with a true heart, you know, with that true care bear heart kind of thing, it diminishes our own jealousy and envy and comparitis within ourselves. When we are truly with the truest heart that we have, cheering on another woman and we're taking it off of ourselves and we're giving out love because we have to give what we want to get, right? Do you guys agree to that one? Maxima Wodokons, if you agree with that, you have to give what you want to get, all right? So the tip number um, eight is you get to reignite someone else's inner flame. Maybe that person has been working really hard for years, for years to have some success, um, to build that new rank or, you know, get to that next sales area. So you can reignite someone else's inner flame when you're cheering other women on, um, whether they're within your team or another team. So give that gift. Give that gift to ignite that someone else's inner flame and keep them going because you don't know how long they've been struggling for, okay? You know, I struggled um, for a long, long time. I mean, as you guys know, some of, part of my story is I went without a sale or a sign up or anything for over eight months before I finally discovered uh, what was going on within our industry within social retail and I was able to find a better way. I was able to find something that fit me within my own personality, my own unique style, and, and I'm having the success now, but I banged my head on the keyboard for a long, long time, okay? So, you know, do when you cheer someone else on, you have that power that it's a gift that you can give, okay? And it's free. Smiles and cheering and celebration and sunshine, empowerment, um, excitement, motivation, inspiration, encouragement, those are all free gifts. Those are something we can give every single day. It doesn't cost us a single dime, but it makes a difference, okay? Which is tip number nine. You can and will improve someone's day in life when you celebrate them or another woman within their team. You can make a difference and it's free to do that by improving someone else's day and life out there, okay? So, and tip number nine is that this is gives you that ability to create and stimulate conversations, okay? When someone sees you from a different team celebrating her new rank up or her new achievement within a sales goal um, or her new achievement of, you know, getting some new clients within her business if she's in coaching um, or cheerleading kind of like I am. Like, you know that I'm a coach, right? You know, I'm a businesswoman's coach, but I also have my own MLM that I absolutely 
adore because it's different. <laughs> okay, it's not your normal mom and pop, all right? So by you cheering other women on within your side sisters, within other women, it allows them to uh, create and stimulate new conversations, of course. And when I was saying at the beginning that someone's watching you, someone out there might be banging their head. And then when they see you being all oddball and crazy, cheering everybody on, everything possible on, they might just say, hey, I think I need more of that in my life. You know how many women that have reached out to me saying like, I don't know what you're doing, Roxanne, but I want to be part of what is going on because I need to be in your circle. I need cheering. I need encouragement. I need nurturing. I need help. Okay. And there, by handfuls of women have come to me wanting to join social retail just because they want to be part of this environment, this tribe, this sisterhood. So it's really important when you communicate, you have to remember that it's creating and stimulating conversations that someone out there is watching you and you're adding hope. Okay. And you might be just who they are looking for. You might just have what they are looking for. So when we add more sunshine and joy to the world, when we cheer and celebrate more women in the world, it puts our industry in a positive spotlight and it puts you in a positive spotlight, okay? So those are the ideas I wanted to leave with you guys. If you guys got some value, definitely caring is sharing. Um, I know that there's some really amazing big things happening within my business. And if you have been banging your head against the keyboard like I have until I found social retail, ask me about it. Okay, you can check out my video at roxannelynch.info or send me a message or drop below more info. Um, this is going to be amazing for our team because you know what? There's a lot of women out there that want success within our industry, but they haven't yet found out how to do it. And that's what I love to do. Okay, so you guys have a fabulous evening. I will see you guys all in the sunny side of life tomorrow. And like I said, if, if this got some goodness and your team needs to understand why cheering is so important within our industry and our business and their business, share, share this message forward. Okay, you guys have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow.